How are double L and Y pronounced in Spanish? This video is a response to questions asked by subscribers Severco and Derek Noble, who want to know more about the pronunciation of Spanish double L and Y, including dialectal variations. In Old Spanish, double L and Y were pronounced differently from one another. Double L was the Spanish grapheme equivalent of Portuguese LH and Italian GL. Over time, a large majority of Spanish dialects, around 90% of them, have merged the two sounds into one. Still, there are millions of speakers in Spain and South America today who maintain the distinction between double L and Y, so a well-informed Spanish student will want to know about it. In dialects that maintain the distinction, Y is pronounced as a palatal fricative or approximant, while double L is pronounced as a lateral approximant which I usually refer to as L-E, and Spanish linguists generally represent with a symbol lambda. Linguists and native speakers have a whole set of vocabulary for this topic, but I'm not going to introduce all that terminology in this video. One way to think of L-E is this. l is to L what n is to N. If you're familiar with Spanish n it shouldn't be too hard for you to imagine how the l is pronounced. Here are some sample words pronounced with l Elios, Cállate, Caballero, Maravilloso, Anillo, Cuello, Basilio, Galleta, Aquello, Desarrollo. Now one thing you might read online about how to pronounce this sound that is not quite correct is that L-Y is pronounced like the L-I combination in English words like million. This is not really true for two reasons. First, English L is pronounced with the tip of the tongue against the alveolar ridge, while Spanish L-Y is pronounced more with the middle part of the tongue approximating the middle of the palate. And second, English L is a deeper and darker sound, while Spanish L-Y is higher and brighter. Go back and listen to how I pronounce the list of words with L-Y and see if you can hear the difference between L-Y and English L-I in words like million. One interesting thing to note is that there are word pairs that are homophones in most Spanish dialects, but that are pronounced differently from one another in dialects that pronounce L-Y. Here are some examples. Cayó, cayó. Arroyo, arroyo. Olla, olla. Pollo, pollo. Aya, aya. Rayar, rayar. And here are regions in Spain and Latin America where dialects with L-Y are most common. Please understand that these may not be the only places in the Spanish-speaking world where people use L-Y. And it is certainly not true that everyone in these regions uses L-Y. These are just the places where L-Y is traditionally most often heard. On a personal note, el is fairly common in parts of South America where I have lived, and I have close friends who are natives of those regions who use it. I don't have experience with sociolinguistic attitudes toward el in Spain, but in Latin America it's generally viewed as a more old-fashioned pronunciation. I understand that there are parts of Colombia where it used to be common, but in which now it's not generally used by people born after 1980. In other countries it's mainly found in smaller cities and rural areas, and is increasingly less common in larger cities. Once again, I'm unaware of the sociolinguistics of Elie in Spain. Any Spaniards who would like to contribute to the discussion, please leave a comment. As I mentioned at the beginning, 90% or so of Spanish dialects do not distinguish between double L and Y. Another way to think of it is that in most dialects there is no Elie, and double L and Y are pronounced the same as one another. Alright, so how do all these dialects pronounce the single sound that is used for both double L and Y? Well, it depends on the region. Let's look at some of the most common variations. On one end of the spectrum we have Mexico, where in most positions this sound is pronounced with very little consonant quality, much like the English Y sound. Let's listen to some examples. Ellos, cuyo, caballero, leyes, anillo. It's important to know, however, that even in dialects where the Y is very vowel-like, it's sometimes pronounced with more consonant quality, especially when it immediately follows N or L. To an American ear, in this position it sounds a bit like English J. Listen to these examples. Conllevar. El llavero. Un llorón. El llano. 
inyección, el yogur, un yeso, el yodo. On the other end of the spectrum are the Rio Platense dialects, where the merged sound is pronounced with a very strong consonant quality. Listen to these examples. Yo, caballo, ellos, cuyo, maravilla, ayer, como se llama. Some speakers of these dialects have even gone so far as to devoice the sound, pronouncing it like English sh. Here's how they would pronounce the words from the previous list. Sho, cabacho, esos, cucho, maravilla, asher, como se llama. Between these two extremes of nearly a vowel sound and strong consonant sound is the voiced palatal approximant. This pronunciation and minor variations of it are heard all over Latin America and Spain. The voice palatal approximant is produced by bringing the middle of the dorsum of the tongue close to the middle of the palate without quite touching. As the air passes between the tongue and palate, a small amount of audible turbulence is produced. Listen to these examples. Cuello, cuyo, anillo, desayuno, bello, apoyo, amarillo, ayuda. Just as is the case of the more vowel-like double L and Y, the voiced palatal approximant is pronounced more like English J when preceded by N or L. All right, so this is a reasonably complete overview of the pronunciation of Spanish double L and Y. Just to recap. Around 10% of dialects maintain a distinction between double L and Y, pronouncing double L as Elie. All other Spanish dialects merge double L and Y into one sound. The pronunciation of that merged sound varies along a spectrum from mostly vowel-like to strongly consonant-like. In this video, I've demonstrated several of the variations along that spectrum, but there are certainly dialects with pronunciations that lie somewhere in between the variations I've discussed here. If you spend time in a Spanish-speaking place where double L and Y are pronounced a little differently from the varieties I've explained and exemplified here, you'll have to use your own ear to fine-tune your pronunciation to match that dialect. One word of caution. Most American students of Spanish are taught that double L and Y sound just like English Y, and that's how they pronounce them. This practice leads to serious mispronunciation of this sound. Even in dialects that usually pronounce double L and Y much like English Y, in some phonetic contexts they're pronounced more like English J. Pronouncing these sounds just like English Y all the time in every position is not accurate for any dialect of Spanish. As always, my recommendation for most students is that they try to approximate a neutral accent, unless they have a good reason to do otherwise. And in my experience, the voice palatal approximant is more neutral sounding than either end of the spectrum. Of course, if you know you're going to be studying in Argentina, that's a great reason to try to sound like an Argentine. Or if your girlfriend's family's from Mexico, that's a great reason to take up Mexican pronunciation. Or if your job takes you to Spain, you should probably try to sound like a Spaniard. Hopefully this video will give you some of the tools you need to investigate the dialect you're most interested in and adapt your Spanish accordingly. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about the Spanish language, please ask in the comments. I'd be happy to consider making a video to answer your question.